Hello everyone, welcome to another video. It is Francesco here. I hope everyone's doing really, really well. Um, I am just fresh back from the Evernote event, which was fantastic. If you haven't seen the Evernote event, it's going to be in the description below. Um, I was able to go up to London and chat with Evernote about productivity tools and apps, uh, but also tips and tricks. So I'll put the link in the description to that video. Um, and also, just before we start this How I Use a Calendar feature, if you're not subscribed to the email newsletter yet, do subscribe. It will be in the description as well. Uh, what I do with the email newsletter is I put out a regular feature. I'm going to be increasing the amount, so I used to do it monthly, probably going to do it fortnightly. This is basically going to be a roundup of the apps that you should check out, uh, the articles that you should read, um, and some of the useful stuff out there. So guys, in this video I actually wanted to check out How I Use a Calendar because um, a lot of people message me and say, like, oh, we know how you use the to-dos, we know how you use um, the note-taking. How do you use a calendar? Now, my calendar uh, sort of method has changed a lot over the last maybe two or three years. Um, and what I used to do quite heavily is I used to plan everything. So I used to block out lots of periods of time um, for certain things. So I would actually have this big block. Uh, for things, but now I've sort of minimized it a lot. So this is Google Calendar. This tends to be the web interface I'll use across the day. So what I'll do on Chrome is I'll pin the tab um, and have it in the left-hand side. So I normally have it here, but in this case, I'm I'm uploading something there. Um, but this will be my go-to one during the day. I also have Fantastical 2 down here. It's good, and I use it in a lot of situations because of the um, the sort of natural language input. So if people don't know, Fantastical 2 is like a Mac application for your calendar. Um, the only reason I don't use it too often is because I like the user interface and I like the week view. It works really well. Um, but I, I, I don't know. I just, I'm always more on the browser, so I don't try and switch between applications too much. Um, I like everything, the design of it works really well, but I just prefer calendar sometimes because of, I don't know, it just seems easier. So here is my Google Calendar. I obviously keep it in week view. That's just my personal preference. Seven days sort of throws me out a little because I like my week to start Monday uh, and I don't like to see the Tuesday to Monday view or Wednesday to uh, Tuesday view. You know, it changes, it's quite distracting. So as you can see, my, my calendar is, it looks quite full, but it actually has, uh, the, the purple ones are actually the activities I'm doing. So there's not actually too many. Uh, on the left hand side, I have my calendar. So I have connected it up to uh, my mom, uh, my fiance, uh, my um, my university calendar as well. So I actually give them access, which I'll share with you in a minute, um, and also uh, it's plug those in so I can see them. But boiled down to the bones, the, the, the purple is actually just mine. So as you can see, I have quite minimal amount of stuff. I will only put in things that I'm going to be doing versus uh, every single thing. So I don't know, maybe a few months back, I can go to like December. Uh, there we go. See, I was actually like blocking in periods of time to work on things. Now that's sort of changed because I don't necessarily have a set structure every single day because things obviously priorities change and, and having that set structure only forced me to try and be like that. So going back to this view here, uh, I only keep the activities and events meetings that I only have. So it's quite good. As you can see, these red ones are the lectures that I have for my personal timetable. That's quite easy if you're a student or anyone to plug in a calendar um, to have all of those events pop up as well. And there are a couple plugins that if you like watch a program on TV, you can actually plug it in. Um, I believe they're called Schedules, the company. I'll include that in the description. Um, but the, the actual university in red comes up is quite handy in case I need to attend a lecture. I tend not to attend too many. Um, so actually having this is quite good. I've also got my, um, I've got my, uh, partners, uh, access there as well. And I put any major events here. So for example, I'll be in home in Tavi over two days, Tavistock. Um, and then I'll have my mum's calendar there too. So to, as you can see, there's not really any bells and whistles that are great. Um, it's just a very simplistic calendar that has worked for me. Um, what I would use on my phone is calendars five by Riedel. Very good experience, very easy to use, and the view layouts are amazing. So that's the one thing I enjoy using. 
So going over to settings for a second, um, calendars, if I click on calendars, I've actually worked out my access points through here. So I was previously attached to a lot of different things. I am signed up to a few other calendars as well, which you can do. So for example, uh, the work meeting rooms and things like that, we had a setup for that, which worked quite well. But it's pretty much regular. I just edit the sharing options and invite um, email directly. So uh, my partner has email and we have our own calendar, but we don't use it. We use a physical calendar now. Um, this is sort of why I don't talk about my calendar too much, because in the last few months, it's really just been simplistic. There's really not too many that's comes up. So, oh, that's another thing. I occasionally have um, my Evernote ones integrated in there. So any Evernote reminders come up on my calendar, which is quite handy. Um, and that's through Knotsby. Um, I only have that integrations occasionally because I don't actually set too many reminders inside of Evernote. Um, but anyway, guys, I actually hope you enjoyed this. I hope it brought you any value. The sort of takeaways for you guys are try and minimize your calendar to the things you're actually going to do. Um, try not to be subscribed to too many things because it can clutter it. This, I think, is at capacity. Um, number three, and like connect up with other people uh, that are important in your routine because me connecting this to my mum or my partners, they can see all of my stuff, which saves me time because they can be like, oh, he's in a meeting, I won't disturb him, or oh, he's out and about, um, I can call him now. So it's quite helpful. Um, but yeah, this is my calendar, um, and it's a very simplistic way I use it. Uh, I don't use month view, just to a final point there. Um, I hate month view. Month view really gets on my nerve. Like, that looks horrible to me. Uh, but anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, let me know in the comments how you use a calendar. I would love to hear specifically how you've been able to master your calendar, whether you use that sort of blocking out time or whether you just put in events as and when they appear because um, I'd really love to hear. But anyway, guys, if you haven't signed up to the e-newsletter, it's in the description. Uh, as I said, it's a free one. I don't spam in it. I put out regular good content inside it. So please do subscribe because I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, and then we go deeper in topics like this, for sure. Uh, exclusive content too. Um, and also, uh, if you're not subscribed yet, do subscribe because uh, that's free also and you'll enjoy it as well. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this feature. Let me know in the comments all of that and I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers.